Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this one is going to be a little stop gap between my six month and my seven month hair transplant update. And since one of my videos went viral on Facebook and it's had over like six million views now, it's insane. I've had a lot of questions coming my way so I figured I would answer some of those most frequently asked ones including how much did this transplant cost? Okay guys, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. My next video will be coming really, really soon with the seven month hair transplant update. I've also got some other amazing hair transplant content coming with other guys that are also on their hair transplant journey. So I've got some really interesting content coming your way in terms of hair transplants, so. Hit that subscribe button, don't miss any uploads. So you may have noticed on Facebook, there's a Facebook page called Ultimate and that video there went absolutely crazy. It's this one right here. This guy documented his hair transplant journey. So basically the video just goes through my six month progress update. So if you haven't seen that, then I will link that at the end of this video. But from that, it's had over 6 million views. It's had 8.6 thousand comments and Unilad has also picked it up. So it is now on Lad Bible as well. So as you can imagine, I'm getting a lot of messages on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, which is great. I'm more than happy to help everyone and I'm more than happy to answer every question that comes through. It's just keeping on top of them is quite difficult. So, how much did this procedure cost and where did I get it done? I got my hair transplant done at Vinci Hair Clinic in London on Harley Street. They do have different locations in the UK and outside of the UK as well, so feel free to check them out. How much did it cost? The price depends on a multitude of factors. How many grafts you're getting done, what country you're in getting it done, which clinic you're at, which surgeon is doing your hair, if it's actually the surgeon doing your hair or if it's someone that the surgeon is overseeing doing your hair. There are so many different things that go into how much a hair transplant costs. You're going to be looking at around the 3,000 to 5,000 pound mark, I reckon, <laughs> for London. Anyway, that's what I've been quoted at the different places where I've been to anyway. So for me, the procedure cost roughly 4,000 pounds. It was literally like on the cusp of 4,000 pounds. And that included a hair transplant procedure with 2,500 grafts and a session of PRP injections. If you don't know what PRP injections are, they are platelet-rich plasma injections. They take the platelets out of your own blood, so they, they take your blood, put it in a centrifuge, spin it around, get the platelets out of there, and then that gets injected into the, the area where you want the hair growth to be stimulated. So that's what PRP injections do. They just stimulate the hair growth using your own platelets from your own blood. You can easily find loads of information about PRP injections online, and I did do a video about it. So feel free to check that video out in my hair transplant playlist which is on my channel right now. Plenty of people have also asked about what happens when the natural hairline recedes further after you've had this first hair transplant done. If you haven't seen my hair, here you go, here is the hairline as it is right now. You can see it's still a bit wispy. It's not fully grown yet obviously but over time that will change and it, as it grows it will become more and more like my normal regular hair. I've had a bunch of people asking questions about other solutions to hair transplants, so there's quite a varied amount of options. Um, obviously I've mentioned PRP, so you can have PRP injections to help stimulate hair growth. There's medications which can help to slow or stop hair loss, like minoxidil, finasteride, uh, there's durus, dura, dura, durasteride? There's, there's another one, I can't remember the name of that one. There are medications that you can take, shampoos designed for men and shampoos designed for women that can help to stimulate hair growth, reduce hair loss, and there's all these things that you can do to slow hair loss so you can avoid or you can prolong the the need for having a secondary hair transplant, which you can obviously have, depending on how much of the donor area you've still got left. So as long as you've got a good quality amount of donor hair from the back of your head, um, you should be fine to have two, three, four hair transplants down the line depending on how many grafts you're taking each time you have a hair transplant. For me, I'm not too fussed. If I do have to have another hair transplant five or 10 years down the line, I'm more than happy to go back to Vinci Hair Clinic and get another one done. I'm still paying off this one, but I would still happily just pay off again. A lot of people have mentioned that I am very young, so I will just point out the fact that I have mentioned this before, that I am 32, so I am definitely a good age to have a hair transplant. I am old enough, I am not that young. 
<laughs> so um, I'll take it as a compliment, but I'm, I'm, I'm not that young. So at my six month mark, Vinci sent me the photos that they took of me on my surgery day before I had the surgery done. So if we want to take a look at those now, you'll see that they are like a drastic change to where we are today. So I'll try and match these photos like as we are. So first photo is this one right here. So I will just, I'll pull that up on the screen so you can see. I'm hoping you can see, I don't know. Wait, there we go. And then the next photo from the day of the surgery is that one right there. So I'm hoping this is right. This might be accurate. And then the last photo from this little session was the other side. So it's that one right there. Let's take a look at that side. So you can you can see there is a good difference in in how I'm looking. I'm really, really pleased with it. I couldn't be more happy with how my hair looks right now if, um, I don't know, I just couldn't be happier. I'm really, really pleased with it. It looks great. Still got a way to go. It's, it's, it's looking good. It's looking very, very good. If you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. If you are thinking about getting a hair transplant done and you do decide to go to Vinci, please do feel free to put my name down in the comments box in the little section that says, where did you hear about us? I would really appreciate it. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments down below or head over to my Instagram. The handle is right here and send me a DM. I'm happy to reply to everyone and I will get back to you. And that I think is pretty much it. That wraps that up. I will see you in my next video. The next video is the seven month update and I will be going into detail about the back of my head and the scarring at the back of my head. So keep your eyes peeled for that around the 15th of February. I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching and goodbye.